Hi guys, so today's video is going to be an everyday makeup tutorial because this is requested a lot. After this video, like maybe tomorrow morning, I'm going to be filming a Valentine's Day look. I know it'll be like really late up, but yeah. So let's just get right into it. So I'm going to start by priming my face with the Smoother by Maybelline Primer. Now I don't, this primer doesn't make your foundation stay on at all, but it just creates a really nice base for the makeup so I really like it so I don't really like it I'm not going to repurchase it but like I mean I really like the base it creates for the foundation it creates a base for your base I've been getting so many requests recently as well I've been really hard to keep up with them like I've filmed some and then I just haven't uploaded them, so then I delete them and film them again, so it's like really bad. It's just like a cycle. I really need to get myself together. Okay, that's that. Now I'm going to apply my foundation. But now we're doing a mix of my foundation. I've been using this foundation, which I think is really good for winter because it's really quite natural. Sorry, I just need to... Because my duvet is on my chair. Oh, you can see, but yeah. Sorry. Oh, and again I'm in my sleep top. Okay, so basically I've been using this from Stay Mart in 100 Ivory because it's really natural. So I'm going to squeeze some of this out onto my hand about that much. Okay, and then I'm mixing a little bit of High Beam by Benefit. So just get the brush. I don't know if you can see this. And just put some on next to it. because then it really illuminates because it's a very mattifying foundation I basically I didn't buy this for the mattifying I bought it because it was the cheapest one and I didn't have a lot of money <laughs> um, so yeah that was really good for the purpose of that and I've got like stuff everywhere like everything is mixed up in my pot so just take a flat foundation brush I use the elf one and I'm just going to mix them together and you can see we're doing this. And as you can see, it makes it a lot more liquidy and it illuminates. I don't know if you can see that it's illuminated it. You can tell on my face, and you might think this is a bit of a pointless step adding high beam, seeing as I then I'd stain my powder. But it really helps the foundation be a lot smoother because this is quite a, like, because it's a mattifying foundation, it's not really blendable. It sort of doesn't blend. So when you add the... when you add the high beam it really helps it so I sort of blend that in like as much as I feel is needed with the foundation brush so okay then I take my fingers and just blend the rest in and I sort of just like to I'm quite gentle so as you can see, on my winter foundation routine, people said you could use a little bit less foundation. And I sort of took that into account, so I bought a little bit more of a natural foundation. So as you can see, that looks a lot better. So that's that step done. Then I'm going to apply my powder, which is Rimmel Stay Matte. And I'm just going to use a big brush. This is just the Elf Flawless Face. I've been running out. If you do what shade I'm in, mean, there's a fiber silky beige. So I'm just going to rub that in and then rub it around my face. Rub it in again, rub it on one cheek and like that side of my face and rub it in again and do it on the other side of the face. That's how I manage how much powder I use and then just blend it in and down the neck. So yeah, that's that bit. Now on to bronzer. I use the MUA Mosaic Bronzer in Natural Glow. I can never open this right. So it's this one, it has a lot of different colours in it and this is like the naturalist. One of them's really pink and quite dark and then there's this one and then there's a blush in the Mosaic range. And I like to use this blush brush from e.l.f. because it's a lot less tighter packed whereas the bronzing brush is a lot 
tightly packed and I like this better for the brush so I use the blush brush for bronzing so just tap it in and then I start on my cheekbone just tap it off a bit, start on my cheekbone I go down to my chin and up to my forehead and I just do that and this is like the three method or whatever you want to call it and I do the same on the other side I start on my cheek because if you start on your forehead and you get like a bit of an orange line on your forehead it's quite hard to blend in whereas if you do it on your cheek it's easier and then I start going the whole way around and then just to finish that off I just make sure it's on all sides of my face I take a big brush this is the total face by elf and just do exactly the same and just blend it all in okay so that's the bronzer now taking the bronzing brush I'm going to use my favourite blush I've ever tried ever, which is the Rimmel London 3-in-1 powder blush in 001 Spring Flower. So I've got really itchy head. And basically, this is like a three colour blush, and all I do is I just do this. Tap it across the bottle, so it gets it set on there. And then, I'm just going to zoom into my cheek so you can see this. Right, I go like this. Just because yeah, it gets the colour on there. Then I swirl. Which blends the colour out. You can't see. But it looks really nice on my, <laughs> like on. So I'll zoom out. Do the other cheek, whether you can see or not. And this blush, I've used it so much, and I haven't even hit pan yet. This is quite an expensive, expensive blush, but when I run out, I'm gonna have to buy another because it's my favourite. They only have this shade out in it at the moment, I think. And I don't usually conceal unless I have a spot. Because I don't usually get many spots, but that's what I just like, you know, about concealer. Okay then, this is a step I like to go through because I have quite a bit of bad discoloration on my cheeks. I like to get just like a powder, just a random powder. This is the Colour Trend Translucent, just because this is not as expensive as the other one. And just the powder brush, and just rub in the powder. This is not necessary if you don't have discoloration on your cheeks, but I find it helps. And just go over the blush, which makes it look a lot more natural. So the discoloration doesn't show through as much. Like, because the discoloration shows through my blush. So when I do that, it looks natural. So, yes. Now, on to the eyes. So take my eyeshadow primer. I'm going to show you the look I've been wearing, like, every day, pretty much. So I just prime my eyes with that. This is just a homemade eyeshadow primer, by the way. Because someone asked in my last tutorial, what eyeshadow primer are you using? <laughs> my homemade one. Okay, so the palette I've been using to do my... Ow. Eyes has been this Chili Pepper Elegant Eyes in Slay, and I got this for Christmas now. <sighs> This is an amazing palette and I love it. So I just take a flat shader brush and if you're wondering this was by Cosmopolitan and I take this colour which is like the second lightest colour and I get that on the brush and I pat this onto the inner half of my eye. I'm zooming. Okay, then with the same brush taking the second darkest colour, which is on the other end, this one, I'm going to apply that to the outer half of my eye. And there's no need to blend at the moment. Okay. 
Okay. And then taking an eyeliner brush, this is just an elf one. Taking the darkest colour, I'm just going to get it on my brush and I'm going to load it on there and then I'm going to put it in my crease. I'm not bothering about blending, I'm just putting it in there. Can you see that? Do the same on the other eye. You might think, why do that? But this is the way it works for me. Then take a big fluffy brush. This is just called the Elf Eyeshadow Brush, but it's so big and fluffy. And basically, you're just going to blend all that together. And you can sort of blend it up as well if you feel the need. And it does take a little bit of blending, but... So as you can see, that's like that. So now I do my brows before I highlight. So you can take any clear brow gel, but I don't have one. So I use the MUA Clear Eyeshadow, obviously, a uh, clear, clear mascara shade one. Obviously, this is not clear no more because I've had foundation and then I like rubbed down it. So it's gone quite monkey. But it still does the same job. So I just brush this through my eyebrows. You might have a completely different routine you do for your eyebrows, but that's what I do for mine. Then I just take a brow wand and I just blend it through there. And I've actually just recently had my eyebrows done, so pretty much really good. Okay, then I'm going to take the big fluffy brush and the lightest colour. This is the great bit about this, and you can basically just use this whole palette just for one look. And I like to highlight quite darkly because then I do something. So you can see that's highlighted really darkly. I'm going to take a brush like this, which is like really flat and long, and just blend it in there. Like, that is my thing to do, and then just use your fingers to brush it through that. So as you can see, that looks really nice. Okay. And then for mascara, I've been really loving the Avon Super Enchant Mascara. This is so good. The brush is like that. And basically it just catches every lash. Okay, so that's my mascara done. Now for lips, I like to scrub my lips. Oh, dear no. Okay, I'm going to take my Lush Sweet Lip Subscrub and just scrub my lips. for the colour I'm using your lips are going to be really smooth. Now I'm going to take my new favourite lip balm which is the MUA Love Hearts lip balm in Sweet Kiss. It's bright pink but it has no tint to it and it's actually like a real lip balm. It's not like those lip balms that are like lip glosses. It's actually like a real lip balm. So and some days I'll probably just wear my lips like this, but 
So then I'm going to blend it in as much as I can. Oh no! One minute, There's things I need are in a bag down here. Sorry, the lip stuff I need, I didn't see it. I'm just going to show you what I'm going to use first while this is like just going in. So it's the Lips at Top Shop lipstick. This is basically what I wear every day when I'm not at school because I have a different lip that I wear for school. This is in desert because this is quite an expensive lip look, lipstick. And it looks like this. And it's a really nice sort of peachy nude, I love it. And then the lip gloss I wear over this is the Rimmel London Royal Gloss. Delicious lip gloss in 121 Yummy. Now the reason I use this is because it's pretty clear but it tastes amazing. So yeah. So now my lip balm's pretty much dried into my lips. I'm going to just zoom in on my lips. Okay, so I'm going to apply the lipstick straight from the tube onto my lips. And quick tip, if you go like that with your lips, you got this, all the creases in your lips go, so then when you close your lips, you've got creases in your lips, but when you got this, all the creases in your lips are out, so then you have no creases in your lipstick. Okay, so there's that part. Now I'm going to take, I usually, if I'm out, I won't do this, but if I'm at home, I do it. I take a lip brush, this is just an elf lip brush. And I squeeze some of this out onto the top of the thing and take it off. And then use it on the brush there and then just apply it. This has such a sheer beautiful gloss. It's unreal how beautiful this is. If I'm out, I'll just use it from the tube. And it's unreal how good this tastes. Okay, so that's the lips. So that is the full look. This is like pretty much what I do every morning. Well, every morning when I'm not at school. So, yeah, unless I do a different lip, I sometimes do a different lip, but this is just what matches what I'm wearing today, and I'll probably... I usually wear this one, but if I'm wearing pink, I'll probably put my little pink one on. So, yeah, if you have any requests for any eye look, lip look, I'm going to be doing a school makeup and a Valentine's look, so... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all later. Bye.